Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered how a hydraulic excavator works? It's like a giant metal arm with joints, muscles, and a brain. Let me demystify the hydraulic system of a hydraulic excavator for you. Before we jump into overview of principle on how hydraulic excavator work, let's explain you about main components and function of each. Bucket. Bucket is the most common type of attachment on an excavator, but excavator today utilize a wide range of attachment for digging, moving items, or interacting with materials in numerous ways. Operator Cabin The excavator cab is the central control station for excavator's operator. In the cabin operator will have controls for both the movement of the excavator and the manipulation of the arm and attachment of the excavator. Bucket Cylinder The bucket cylinder controls the action of the bucket and is connected to the stick and the bucket. By extending or retracting the cylinder, the operator control the attachment. Stick Cylinder The excavator stick is the controlled by a hydraulic cylinder connected to the boom and the stick. Extending and contracting the stick cylinder will pivot the attachment towards or away from the machine and the operator. Stick Arm A part of the excavator's arm, the stick sits between the boom and the attachments. The far end of the stick incorporates a system for connecting to attachments and allowing for their control from the cab. Boom Arm the boom is a part of the arm and is directly attached to the excavator's house. The length of the boom and the stick define the reach and digging depth of an excavator. Boom Cylinder The boom is controlled by hydraulic cylinders pinned to the house and the boom. By extending and retracting the cylinder rods from the cylinder housing the operator is able to lift and lower the boom. Engine. At its most simple, the engine on an excavator converts energy generally from diesel fuel into motion. Swing bearing. The slewing bearing, or swing ring, turntable bearing, slewing gear, is a horizontally mounted bearing with an attached gear. That allows the cab to move 360 degrees independently from the frame. Swing Drive The swing drive is directly mounted to the house and consists of a swing motor and a swing gearbox. Energy is converted into high torque output through a gear system and output through a geared shaft that engages with teeth in the slewing ring. Main Hydraulic Pump the main hydraulic pump on an excavator transforms mechanical energy from the engine into hydraulic energy that is turn supplied to hydraulic components through hydraulic fluid. Main control valve. By controlling the pressure and direction of hydraulic fluid a hydraulic valve is able to finally dictate a machine's movements and the movements of its attachment. Track Group. The tracks on an excavator are designed to provide ample grip and maneuverability. Tracks can be either metal, rubber, or hybrid. Recoil Spring. Recoil springs, or track springs, are large springs designed to absorb impacts and ensure the track is properly tensioned. Most track springs work in conjunction with a grease cylinder to set track tension. Front Idler The front idler on an excavator is a large wheel at the front of the track group TAT guides the track along its path and in conjunction with the track springs, sets the tension of the track. Track Rollers an excavator has several rollers or rolling cylinder designed to carry the weight of the excavator and to guide the track along its path. Sprocket. The sprocket is a cogwheel with teeth that connects into and interacts with segments in the excavator's track.
Final Drive. On an excavator, there are two final drive in both track frame to transfer power from the drive train to the tracks using a system of gears designed to reduce speed and increase torque. Now let's explain you about an overview of on how hydraulic excavator work. Think of the arm of a hydraulic excavator as if it were your arm. Like ours, it has joints that allow them to move in different directions and muscles that provide the power to move them. In a hydraulic excavator, hydraulic cylinders power the joints, while the hydraulic system acts as the muscles. The hydraulic system of a hydraulic excavator is a true marvel of engineering, functioning as the nervous system of the machine, sending signals to different parts of the arm to move and work together seamlessly. This system enables the machine to dig, lift, and move massive amounts of earth, rocks, and other materials. At the heart of the hydraulic system is the hydraulic pump. Driven by the engine, the pump generates the hydraulic pressure required to operate the hydraulic cylinders. Without this hydraulic pressure, the arm of the excavator wouldn't be able to move. So how does the hydraulic pressure translate into movement? Well, that's where the hydraulic cylinders come in. They act like the biceps and triceps of the machine, providing the power to move the arm up, down, and in different directions. When hydraulic fluid is pumped into the cylinder, it pushes the piston, which in turn drives the rod. The movement of the rod is then used to operate the machine's arms, booms, and buckets. But that's not all. The hydraulic system's control valves act like the brain of the machine, directing the flow of hydraulic fluid to the different parts of the arm. These valves enable the operator to control the movement of the machine with precision as if they were controlling it with their mind. What makes the hydraulic system of a hydraulic excavator so efficient? It's all about energy conservation. The system is designed to minimize energy loss and maximize power output. This means the machine can operate at maximum efficiency, using less fuel and generating less heat. For instance, imagine you're lifting a heavy weight with your arm. You'll have to use more energy if you use a small muscle to lift the weight. But if you use a larger muscle, you'll be able to lift the weight with less effort. The same principle applies to the hydraulic system of a hydraulic excavator. Using larger hydraulic cylinders, the machine can move heavy loads with less effort, requiring less fuel to power it. Moreover, high-pressure hydraulic lines contribute to the efficiency of the hydraulic system. Made of high-pressure steel, these lines are designed to withstand the high pressures generated by the system. This means there's less energy lost due to friction, allowing the machine to operate at maximum efficiency. In conclusion, the hydraulic system of a hydraulic excavator is truly complex and fascinating, resembling a giant metal arm with joints, muscles, and a brain. The system is powered by a hydraulic pump, which generates the hydraulic pressure required to operate the hydraulic cylinders. The cylinders function like the biceps and triceps of the machine, providing the power to move the arm in different directions. The control valves act like the machine's brain, directing the flow of hydraulic fluid to the various parts of the arm. The efficiency of the hydraulic system is due to a combination of factors, including the use of larger hydraulic cylinders and high-pressure hydraulic lines. Overall, the hydraulic system of a hydraulic excavator is a marvel of engineering, allowing the machine to move massive amounts of earth and rock with ease. This all information is about main components and an overview of hydraulic excavator work. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content about the world of heavy equipment. Thank you for watching and your support.